Hello, After Year Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, the After Years, in earnest this time. We've uh, finished our interlude, and today it's time to begin the actual After Years part of the game. The, 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 the big one, basically. Just gonna warn you ahead of time, this game is still sort of divided into episodes for different characters, so it's still gonna feel episodic, chapterish compared to the original game. We're gonna be jumping back and forth between different characters, and they will join up eventually and all that. The, the end of the game, the, the last couple chapters, however it works out, is a lot like the normal Final Fantasy IV, but it's gonna take a while before we get there. We're gonna kinda see a bunch of different people doing their own things and you know, it's fine. It's just it's just different, that's all. Before we start that though, I would like to show you the opening movie. We get our own fancy pre-rendered FMV video. For the after years. With me, Ankylo. It's a very nice blue crystal. Always appreciate that. So, as far as I know. Um, there's going to be a lot of parallels between this and Final Fantasy IV. Except, we need to introduce some new characters, and uh, I don't know all their names, but uh, maybe we'll figure out who they are. We got old man Cecil and Rosie growing up, looking mother and fatherly, I guess. That's uh, supposed to be a boy, by the way. That boy, in fact, the way I understand it. <laughs> Time has passed, is the point. Their child has grown into something of a man. And there's our spiky shoulder armor, ready to go. So our kid is off in the Red Wings. And Yang, of, of course, is training his daughter in the martial arts, as one would expect. Our bard continues to be Spoony. Uh, I don't know who that is. We'll figure that out later. Palom and Porum, no doubt. Looking a little bit more grown up. Not quite five anymore. Edge being awesome. You know, Edge is cool. I hope... I hope he's as good in the after years as he was in the interlude, where he seemed amazing. Rydia looks a little bit older, and got some other girls. Lots of new girls. Kane, doing... doing stuff. <laughs> we might have some interesting conflict here again with Kane. I hope... I hope so. I love conflict with Kane. Ooh, I'm a tingling. I am quite excited to see all the new characters and see where the story goes. So, just like the end of the Final Fantasy IV video, the After Years video ends. It's it's very parallel. Lots lots of similarities. All right, let's get to it. Now you have to forgive the game. The introduction text here is a little bit weak, <laughs> but it is what it is. This looks like the introduction for Final Fantasy 1 on the Nintendo. <laughs> anyway, um, long ago the blue planet was saved by the prayers of an entire people. Two moons became one anew, even though I thought they split up, but you know. Time inexplor inexorably, not inexplorably. <laughs> I'm gonna stop reading. I can't read. You guys can read. I really think they could have done more with this intro text. Like, they could have put some ripples in the background or some fog. They could have given it a slightly nicer looking font, but the crystal shed only their silent light and the, the developers didn't decide to make that screen look very nice. <laughs> At least I showed you the cool video first, right? <laughs> Hopefully I haven't scared everyone off with that. <laughs> Theodore's Tale. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. The Last of the Red Wings. Now, Theodore, if his name was pronounced like Cecil, as we learned, it'd be like Theodore. Seador. I don't know, but I'm going to call him Seador, I think. And in keeping true to the opening to Final Fantasy IV, we start with the Red Wings theme. Ah, Captain Big, still around. Good to know. V 
very good to know. You don't look well, Prince. Aw oh, man, look at those girly earrings. <laughs> what is this kid thinking? Who chooses his clothing? Who, who, who decides this guy's wardrobe? I'm sorry if you're offended by my earring comment. I'm sure there's manly earrings. It's just not those. Yeah, talk to some soldiers to take your mind off matters. We are a prince. We're level one. We've got horrible weapons. Our father decided to give us the trash bin of weapons to start off. Um, but because we are related to a white mage, we begin with cure. And uh, our class is going to be odd. We're not going to be a paladin exactly, and we're not going to be a white mage exactly. So, you know, one part fighter, two parts ma white mage, give or take? I don't know. Horrible stats. Uh, let's set, speed these up a little bit. And remember to... Do I not have to turn character selection? In the other one, I had to turn one of those buttons over so that we could skip turns, but it seems like, unless I'm missing it, I don't have to do it this time. Okay, let's talk to some people. On the way to the Adamant Isle. Monsters don't play favorites. Royalty or peasants. That means nothing. Awesome. Don't give him privilege of rank. I have a feeling this is going to be a whiny little teenager, so... Make him... Make him do his push-ups. Yeah, we, we know our father was awesome. Holy land of sorts. Okay. Most elite of our kingdom's forces. Cool. Let's let's become a knight. I suppose. Oh, don't be a whiner. How can you understand, Wedge? You're not a teen. You don't know what it's like. My dad's the king. My bloodline? I mean, you have a pretty cool bloodline. You're like one quarter Lunarian. There's not very many Lunarians around. Or is he like one eighth? No, one quarter. Cecil was half Lunarian, so he's one quarter. Look, you are a little bit unusual, Theodore. You are a prince. You're slightly alien. <laughs> Silly child. You're not even a soldier yet. You're just a squire. Yeah, you tell him, Biggs. Yeah, smack him good. <laughs> awesome, you got a lot to learn, boy. <laughs> Keep that mouth shut. We won't be tolerating any whiny teenage teens on this trip. <laughs> Don't make me slap you again. Every time Biggs raises his hand, everyone cowers. Let the slapping commence. I think Biggs is gonna save the story for us. I'm just, I'm worried. Whenever you put a teen in that's kind of sulky and rebellious, I'm a little bit worried about how the story's gonna go. I'm really hoping Biggs can pull it together for us. The Adamant Isle, all right. Sir, yes sir, oh man. Even this one, look at this one. Yes sir, if you say so. <sighs> Do I have to? Say it like you mean it, boy! Should have smacked him again. As sorry as ever. Now move out. Yeah. Come on, Biggs, you gotta straighten this boy up. Cecil's obviously been slacking in the parenting department. Alright, Knight's Emblem inside the grotto. And it must be a full moon. Okay, so we need to prepare a little bit. Oops. Ah, oh, sorry, I skipped that by accident. I think he's asking about the cycles of the moon. In case you're wondering, it's a 
waxing moon. We'll go over all that. In fact, I'm sure the game will shove it down our throats in a minute. No monsters can escape its influence. So, one of the new effects, one of the new mechanics for the after years is the moon phase. It cycles really quickly, though, so it's not too much of a problem. Just a couple tents or a couple trips to the inn, and you can change it to whatever you want. So full moon is for black magic. Physical attacks, half as much. So every it applies to everything evenly, isn't that fair? We do half damage, but we take half damage. It's not bad. Sounds good. We will go to the inn in a minute. But first, we're going to explore the town and maybe buy some slightly better gear. Yeah, yeah. Saving. I'm sure we guys can figure the saving process out. Looking for something interesting in the town, in the houses. I know there's loot to be had. So that's how you run. We already knew that, though, really. I still don't think this island's very big, but I guess it's bigger than it used to be. Another way, Frogman. Looking for treasure. Like a tent. You Mithril Brothers. <laughs> You've lost your precious ring in the tall grass. Well, we'll, we'll look around. In the sundries. <laughs> yeah, multi targeting magic. We know the drill. Hobby of collecting rare tails. Yeah, we know how that works too. That was how we got the uh, adamant armor and the uh, Excalibur. Well, the adamant ore, I guess. Technically. Ah, the ruby ring. And the potion. It's always good to check the long grass. I'm pretty sure you guys know how the battle meter works and how to skip. I'm sure you'll be fine. Hey, thanks! A brand new pig. I forgot to show it off, but the ruby ring actually prevents the pig status. Which is odd, giving it to a pig. But, uh, anyway, there you go. We could see them dance, but I don't want to see them dance again. <laughs> go back and watch it in Final Fantasy IV. It's the same dance. Alright, equipment upgrade. I mean, it's pretty obvious. They give you uh, just enough money to upgrade, like, one thing each. Yeah. So, you just upgrade them. We will totally be a knight one day. You totally knew that! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, kids these days, right? So, I'd say that was a pretty good upgrade. We got, like, almost double the attack power. Alright, we could buy a couple potions, but I think we'll be fine. We could use that money the rest of the inn, but... We're gonna do a little bit of level grinding before we go in here. We can see what's in here, but we can't actually start till it's a full moon. The rare tail collector. But, uh, we won't, he won't move out of the way until it's, uh, the correct time of month. So, um... As a general rule, if you're new to my channel, I don't really like doing level grinding in an RPG. Not not significant amounts, anyway. Except for one time. And that one time is at the beginning of a game when you can gain a lot of levels really quickly. Like, we just got two levels up for that one fight. So I'm thinking we should get at least a few levels up before we start our trial. Because it might be really dangerous. I don't know. There's one number I want to upgrade specifically, and I'll show it to you in the status in a second here. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, these guys have a counterattack if you can't one-shot them. Apparently we can barely hit them. We learned Libra, that doesn't really matter. Um, but the, the, the number I'm talking about is, okay, you see where it says attack two times 23? It actually started at one times 23. 23, whatever. 
Um, so now we actually do two attacks per, per we two, two swings per attack. So it actually doubles our attack power, basically. Um, defense works, magic defense, defense and attack all work with multipliers. Although it doesn't tell you, you know, you swung twice, you hit once or whatever. Um, it makes a pretty significant difference, so I want to at least get that. And I think we'll go for a couple more levels up. Seeing as we can get, like, one level up per fight, like, basically, my, um, my rationale here is later in the game, when it takes, I don't know, multiple fights per level up, like, say it takes you 20 battles per level up, that's pretty grindy. Yeah, notice that? Like, double damage there. That was really good. Um, if it's gonna take 20 battles per level up, that's gonna take a little bit more time than I want to invest, and... Unless you really need to get stronger, I probably don't want to do it. The thing is, at the beginning of the game, most RPGs, when you're level 1, you can level up really quickly, and the, the, the leveling up scale is kind of exponential. It's, it costs a lot more and takes longer the higher the level you are. So this early on bit here, we're getting maybe a level up every two battles. Yeah. We're level 7, maybe just one more. 220, yeah, like, two more battles, maybe, and that'll be fine. Level 8. We went from level 1 to level 8 in, like, not even five minutes, right? That, that's okay. Basically, in the time it takes me to explain what I'm doing, the, the grinding's already gonna be over. <laughs> Besides, it gives everyone a chance to see... I don't know. Some of the random battle... random enemies? I mean, a lot of the enemies are shared from Final Fantasy IV, obviously. I'm sure there's new enemies. It's not just always going to be the same as the original game. But, uh, it'll be fine. But yeah, specifically one-shotting the Sword Rats, probably a good idea. If we're going to be doing a trial, we don't want to be taking too much damage. Alright, good enough. Level 8. Did not take very long. Oh, there's people to talk to here. The elite airship, airship. Do we even have a secondary airship fleet? I thought the Red Wings was just the one and only fleet. Hmm. Someone else took the night trial with the same eyes. So I assume they're referencing my father, Cecil. But it seems a little sketchy that this kid would remember however long it's been. Like 30 years ago, maybe? Maybe at least 20, anyway. The selfless efforts of King Cecil and Rose, Queen Rose. So, basically, it seems to me that every time you rest, and you hear that song, <laughs> you get a new phase of the moon. And in case you were wondering, you can always check in your status. Well, that's cool. The L button shows you how much for the next level up. I didn't know that. But the R button here cycles through um, which, which types of attacks have been buffed and uh, nerfed. Uh-oh. The captain's waiting. I think we slept in, everybody. <laughs> if you want to cut and run like the spoiled little brat you are, don't even bother coming back alive. Just stay in there and be dead. <laughs> Alright, let's loot up. Alright. We got some basics. I don't know if the Phoenix Downs are going to help much since we're probably on our own, but... Oh, you're coming with us. They're not going to come with us for the whole time, though. Don't worry. Now, these guys, they're pretty tough. We may be nearly their level. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm the king, or I'm the prince. I'm going to be the king one day, so I get your gloves. We could probably have just stolen their longsword, too. I wouldn't have had to spend any money at all. <laughs> um, they also have magic, by the way. Biggs has some medium level... Uh, black magic, and Wedge has better cure white magic than we do. It's kind of cool. Status-wise, they're way tougher than us. 
lots of stats, multiple, multiple attack multipliers, defense multipliers, all that jazz. Keep your guard up. Yeah. Here we go. It's some goblins. They're also way faster than us. Alright, so yeah, we talked about the phases of the moon a little. So, red icon means less damage. Green means double damage. Pretty simple, right? There you go. But we do enough damage with a uh, normal attack. Band attacks? Oh, right, yeah, this is new, too. So not only do we have moon phases, we also have dual techs! Like from Chrono Trigger! It'll be easier just to show you in the next battle. I keep accidentally clicking double. Sorry for skipping through too quickly. For those of you that want to read everything. Alright. It's pretty straightforward, seriously. Band. Search for bands. Pigs. Also attacks. Band. So, as a pair, they do a fancy double tech. I believe that there are techs that go all the way up to five, like the entire party, all the full five team parties. It's pretty cool. And then once you've done them, they get recorded. And you can just select it from the band list. Sounds pretty awesome. So you do have to figure them out first time, basically. Unlike a Chrono Trigger Dual Tech. Although that one... No, those ones were automatically learned. But um, they do show you the list of everything they know. Also, it costs quite a lot of MP. So it's... You know, I don't know if it's the best idea, but... Let's do it one more time. We can search for new ones or just use the one we know. You know, it's not that bad. So we got bands, and uh, they did mention something about needing bonds with your, uh, with the rest of the team if you want to actually use them. So, so Theodore, he's still new, so he won't have any bonds just yet. Not yet. And that's it. Tutorial over. Good luck, kid. Smack him again. <laughs> you have the blood of King Cecil. It has everything to do with it. Man, don't be such a loudmouth, you little brat. Weird red stripey clothing. Get back here alive, or forget about joining the Red Wings, because you'll be a corpse. <laughs> I like bigs. Alright, so we're off. All on our own. So, as much as in the interlude I ran away from a lot of battles, I won't be doing that as often now that we're in the after years and the stats will persist a little bit more for real. Now, as I said, I have played a little bit before I started again because, uh... We had that really... I had a, a bad audio session, so... But I haven't gone any further than this dungeon, so don't worry about it. Now, the encounter rate could still screw me, just like it was in Interlude. We could get battles every second, every step or two. But yeah, the, uh, the idea here is now experience and levels up will kind of matter a little bit more than in the interlude where it really was kind of just a waste of time. Fighting all those random battles didn't really accomplish anything. Although fighting these goblins, I don't know, they don't really give a lot of reward. Ah, there's a level up. Guess it's good enough.
tell you what, we'll skip, we'll skip some goblins. We'll skip the goblins, I say. There'll be better monsters that give us more experience. The four goblin fight gets us a hundred experience. I'm pretty sure four of something else will give us considerably more. I mean, even, even just the sword rats, right? I'm pretty sure the goblins are the weakest enemies in the game. I love the fact that we get four attacks before they get to move. Yeah, that was like 50%, more than 50% the experience for the same amount of time. Here we go, new enemies. Still, they don't look that difficult, but we've got a larva infestation around here. Even more experience. Don't know if there's any secret walls around here. I wouldn't know if I don't really know these dungeons the same as uh, the original Final Fantasy IV dungeons I'm pretty good with because I've played through that game a dozen times. This one, I don't know. Oh, we cannot one-shot the moths. I'm pretty sure I discovered my first run through here that they have, I think, exactly 40 HP. So, if we're lucky, we'll one-shot them. But yeah, I mean, we're getting nearly twice as much experience as fighting four goblins. And if there's those moths, more than twice, so... It's worth fighting them, at least. Takes about the same amount of time. You guys can bear with it, right? This is one thing that uh, I do feel the two-dimensional type games are better than the three-dimensional games for this little part. Looks like there's probably... yeah. Um, because battles can go so much quicker, there's less loading screen and less animations. I think when I was playing the DS version of Final Fantasy IV, just your average random battle took longer than this. Which... You know, it looked nice, I guess, but, um... I like, I like the 2D sprites anyway, and saving time is... You know, I like saving time. <laughs> Hard to argue about that, right? So, I guess my point is, even if the encounter rate is ridiculous, and it's ridiculous, um... Less time per battle means happy angular. Besides, we've got lots of stuff we can talk about, right? We've got lots of stuff we can talk about. Like, you know, Seador, is he going to be a whiny little kid, or is he going to man up? Is there a secret wall there? No. Uh, I don't think we need to really worry about a tent here. And it's faster to just use the quick save state. Ah, oh, this is probably the, uh, the end of the grotto already. It's not that big of a dungeon. Yeah, it's probably the Night Emblem right there. No problem! Let's go pick it up. Oh, of course it's trapped. Sandworm. Time to die. In fact, there's really nothing I can do other than attack, so just keep attacking.
Theodore's latent potential has awakened. Whoa, full heal! Now we're doing real damage. So, now we're seeing a third new mechanic for the series. Not only do we have moon phases, bands for double and triple tech stuff, we also have, like, basically limit breaks. Pretty awesome! Hey, Protect sounds good. Would have been nice to have Protect before we did that battle. We didn't need it, but would help. Alright, am I a knight now? We also have special abilities. And then we pass out. <laughs> Don't help me! I'm fine! <laughs> oh, you got the Cura. That's nice. Thanks, buddy. Sorry about that. Sorry for passing out. <laughs> Sorry for dying on you. You do have amazing hidden powers. Never saw Cecil do anything like that. Hmm. Well, you're a full-fledged knight. Congrats. Can you guys give me a cool sword at least? I had to buy my last one. <laughs> Can you get me like a mithril sword? I hear they're pretty good. <laughs> Captain Biggs and Wedge have joined the party. Alright, well, I don't think anyone has any warp or teleport, so we'll probably have to fight our way out. Uh, it'll be really easy, though. Um, I don't know where it would tell you about Awaken. Awaken is right here. Unleash Lunarian power for a temporary status boost. I don't really know a whole lot about it right now. Other than perhaps it nearly kills him when he uses it. We should probably wrap the episode up here though. We'll just head to the uh, save spot. Now, I don't know if Seodor can actually get uh, bonds with Biggs and Wedge. It seems like, you know, maybe after a couple experiences he might be able to, but for now we're alright. And what I was talking about before, I could have used this tent when we first got in here. Or even the, the one before it. I think we could have done it on a waning mood rather than a full moon. And this would have actually helped us out because we would have been doing four times more damage with our sword. Instead of half, we would be doing double our base. And a decrease to throwing weapons? We never use throwing weapons. That might, that might include like bow and arrows and throwing weapons, but really, we don't have any of that mumbo jumbo. Anyway, um... This is the point where I break the episode, and uh, we will see you guys next time. I'm going to get these uploaded, and hopefully the audio balance is better this time, and I don't have to redo it for a third time. Oh, that would be terrible. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this game. I hope you are too. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.